Yeah. Take that, you stupid piece of crap lobster. Oh, 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 uh, hello. This is Lord X of XLX Mario's, and, um, we're gonna continue playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, the game I can't remember the name of. What the? Jesus. Um, that thing looks horrifying. Let's just never speak of it again. Hey, here's a reminder. You can jump by pressing the A button. Seriously, stop reminding me about everything, game. I think I know how to do stuff by now. Gah! Oh, hey, I died. Or did I? I, I don't know. We'll just count that as a death. And we'll count that as a death, too. Good lord. So yeah, these things, they throw bombs at you and... God damn, they're annoying. They're the worst enemies in the game. Well, now that I finally got past that one part, this segment's looking up. I wonder if I'll complete the next part in less than a minute. But yeah, I really hate those annoying flying enemies. They're, they're the worst enemies in this game, in my opinion. <sighs> Basically because of their dead aim accuracy and their annoying placements in the level. It's just... Not fun. Anyway, um... Kelpo. The cereal that you know- that you don't love to eat. Probably nothing up here. I don't even know why I'm doing that, but never hurts. Okay. Might as well feed the clams, donate to charity, and all that did was activate this button. That activated a bunch of Texas swingers. That's what I'm gonna call them. Oh god, I'm timed! Crap! Ah! Ah! Go, go, go! Put me on the spot, why don't you? And there's a bunch of tiki's over there. That's odd, but... Whatever. <clears throat> I'm guessing those things just disappear after the time goes off, goes away. Not the spatula. So I really had more time than I needed, but... I'll shut up now. Okay, um... I can push the button again, or I can keep going. And of course, we all know the logical thing to do is to go back and push the button again. No, I'm kidding. Um... Alright, more shiny things. More goopity goop. More Texas jokes. More knockback. We're dying. I don't remember this part being as annoying as it is. I'm just being horrendously awful right now. Like I usually am. <gasps> this is beginning to look like a rerun of last time. I'll give the game credit. I don't know any other game that would use a pair of underwear as health. Not even Earthworm Jim. 
took to those kinds of great lengths. Anyway, here's another sock. Technically, I already have enough to get one golden spatula. But we're not gonna just exit the level just to get one golden spatula, are we? Of course we are. No, I don't know. We gotta do this. We gotta beat the conveyor belt. We gotta accidentally rope the wrong tiki. We gotta stutter whenever I talk because I have horrible Asperger's. We have to spend five minutes attacking, leaving myself open to other people. It's funny, this game actually makes you use tactical decisions in combat. Something that not even Call of Duty would do. Call of Duty, you run over to cover and shoot things. SpongeBob SquarePants, you have to take out the little guys first before you attack anybody at a range. That you're supposed to attack with ranged attacks. So yeah. I just said that SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom is more sophisticated in its combat than Call of Duty. Get mad. I don't know. Oh, the, oh and then you have these guys. They're more sophisticated than any Call of Duty enemy that I know. Makarov's got nothing on them. Yep, there's another one. Just get some more shiny things for good measure. Okay, anyway, um... Honestly, I think this game also makes a lot more references to the old episodes than it does the sort semi-newer episodes of the time. As this was released in a time where... The new eps- where, where the semi-newer episodes were out, those were pretty good, but... Honestly, it was- the series was at its peak at that time, I- I would say. And then it went downhill from there. Spongebob just is not the same anymore, sadly. They sucked all the charm out of it and made Spongebob somewhat annoying. <laughs> well, not somewhat annoying. More like teeth gratingly annoying, but... Whatever. Let's just stand here for 15 seconds to get all of these tiki's so I can get these pointless shiny things that I can get from anything else. Well, that was a really compelling slide sequence there, game. Thank you. Anyway, I could have gone down there and get gotten the sock. I think. Oh, I don't even know. Did I miss something back there? I, I don't even know. <gasps> I can change the camera! For a cinematic close-up view. Aren't I just amazing? Yeah. I'm so much better in cinematic close-up view. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've had enough of Sandy, mostly because she can't s slam the ground for some reason. Out of all the moves in her repertoire, that isn't one of them. Okay. Activate the box. Fun box, fun box, small and square and dark. Fun box, fun box, check out these cool fun locks, yay! Okay, I'll stop singing. <sighs> Time to go to the lighthouse. Are you ready, kids? No. I'll exit the level. Set. Go. Oh, we get the super pumpy workout music.
Say what you will. This track is awesome. I don't even care that the rest of the game doesn't make any sense. This track makes up for it. I think the platforms up there break after a while, so you can't just stand up there and cheat. Even though I don't know how you would cheat, because you need to be down here to defeat the enemies, but... They still thought of everything. You can't cheat here, cheater. Cheater McCheat Pants. The floors are in this lighthouse. It didn't even look that big from the outside. Okay, well... Super Ultra Mega Monster Combo! Because every game has to have combos. Not even fight... Fighting games aren't the only games that have combos. Believe it or not. I call this one the Ultra Krabby Patty Deluxe Combo. Okay, it's not really that effective, but... Ah! Holy crap. Underwear. Dying everywhere. All over this place. Tartar sauce. Fish paste. Barnacles. Arr. Come on. It's just you and me and the floor, bub. That's what I thought. So yeah, how about that lighthouse? Okay, well... It's another sock. Screw the spatula, we need that sock. It is much more important than anything else in this world. This sock holds the key to the universe. Why are all the collectibles in this game pieces of clothing? Especially pieces of clothing that are considered the dirty ones. You couldn't have made SpongeBob health SpongeBob's health bar like Krabby Patty hats or You'll something. You have to open this door from the inside. You're a little late on that one, Bubble Buddy. I, I don't even know. Anyway, there's only one more place to go in this level, and that's the Sea Needle. Gulp. It's not really that terrible. Um, we need a dramatic pan. <gasps> they destroyed the Sea Needle, those bastards! They will pay for their crimes. Ah, there you are, boy. Someone's broken the Sea Needle. That's horrible. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Because they have the money in them? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly! All right, Mr. <laughs> Krabs, break the my shell. You've got a deal. Nobody, nobody calls my mom ugly. Okay. We got ourselves a hook. Hook, line, and sinker. Ultimate wedgie 
Oh, and for some reason, my game likes to glitch out and put SpongeBob's eyeball out of his face when I'm bungee jumping. You might, you might not be able to see it, but... If you look really closely, right down there, there's his eyeball. And there appears to be a piece of broken skin under SpongeBob's butt flap. I hope I never have to say those words again, but... Whatever. Ah. Now I remember how annoying this part was. Ah, come on. One more tiki. Thank you. The thing I hate about this part of the game is that it doesn't really tell you how many tiki's you have left to break. At least in at least in games like Crash Bandicoot, you know. Did it tell you <gasps> Great, but you missed five crates. At least it told you you missed five crates. Even though it tells you at the very end of the level, but who cares? At least it told me. It's a really good Michael Jackson impression. Oh god, SpongeBob, your skin is meshed. It's completely broken. Wait a minute, I just realized the sky is no longer glitching out. It's probably because I rubbed it. It's probably because I sort of, you know, rubbed it on my shirt before I started playing. Which, surprise, surprise, is a good thing to do. Did I mention I hate the guys flying that throw water bombs at you? I hate the guys flying that throw water bombs at you. You've collected all the steering wheel. Why is my... Why is my foot bounce attack not working? Normally I would call it a butt bounce attack, but that's not really what it is. I should just count ground pound, but... Only Spongebob would want to actually partake in a wedgie experience. Really, all the all you have to do is break the uh, flying tiki's. That can actually be pretty challenging in itself. Considering the fact that I only have three pieces of health left and they have... Okay, two pieces of health. And they have... Um, Thunder Tiki's on there. Well, at least I set that one off. Okay, well that's that one. Wait, is that it? Is that all the Tiki's? I assume that is all the Tiki's. We shall go back to Mr. Krabs for our reward. Smash all the Tiki. Or not. Greedy old bastard. Ooh, let's change characters to Sandy for no reason, because she really can't bungee. In fact, that was quite a rather stupid idea. Um, actually, I think you need Sandy in this part to get a sock, but... I might have to break all those tiki's again. Darn. Oh, hey, what do you know? <laughs> Terrible, glitchy madness. Okay, there we go. You see, that is how you not break things. That is how you not break your ass. Let's screw with the camera. That's a fun thing to do because the camera is really, really sensitive in this game. The slightest tilt and it will go all the way down. That's another annoying part of it. I should really stop complaining. This game is actually one of the better licensed games of its generation. Probably the best. I don't know. 
Did I break the tiki's? I assume I did, since the fanfare music played. That was actually a pretty close one. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Hooray! Now, there, somewhere on somewhere on this sea needle, there's actually a button I need to press. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that thing, that hanging thing over there. I'm pretty sure that's a button. But of course, being completely inept at projectiles, SpongeBob cannot do such. He cannot accomplish such a feat. So. We'll have to come back here once we know another move. But hey, look on the bright side. We're pretty much done with downtown Bikini Bottom. Assuming that I only need one more. Okay, that's Jellyfish Fields. Yeah, come back with the cruise bubble. So basically that's all I can do in this level. Sans probably am missing a few socks that I might have looked over, but shut up. Get Sandy. Head to Smokestack's door. Check. Yeah, if you talk to the if you talk to the characters again, they say different stuff. <laughs> this must mean I must talk to every character in this level. No, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna go through that. Sorry, good sirs and ma'ams, but that's just not happening. I've already completed a good deal of progress. And I don't intend on making more. Because I'm lazy. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But, SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. Hmm. I would laugh, but I am a cynical, monotonous geek. That and I want you guys to hear the jokes. So anyway, we're pretty much done here. We need to come back with the cruise bubble. Which, unsurprisingly, the game tells you again. Before it's even unlocked. But, shoot. There's plenty of games that do that. Anyway, let's talk to Patrick. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Anyway, we could talk to Mr. Krabs, too. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's sure. quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. You greedy, money-grabbing whore. Can't believe I'm sucking up to you. Need to put the man down. Anyway. Next time, we'll take our ten spatulas and we'll go to Goo Lagoon. But I might as well open up the boss door anyway. Seeing as though I probably have like 18 or 20-something spatulas. Yeah, 20. Anyway, um, till next time, I'm Lord X of X, the X Mario's, and let's get out of town.